Welcome back, we're here looking at the end of the season. This is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, July 27, 2022. If you like support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and all my trades and portfolio are available in the link down below. And also, our new uh, cryptocurrency analysis are available on our eToro platform and also on Patreon. The link is down below. So let's start by looking at the, the Nasdaq. And as you can see, we have fallen quite um, heavily today. We're down roughly 2%. And then at the end of the US session, it basically bounced. So we are still within uh, this channel. We are have an upper channel here and we also have a bottom and at this current stage we have technically tested that bottom we could probably go a little bit lower with this around here so 50 moving average is also right underneath and of course tomorrow is going to be a very important day because uh, the fed is going to announce whether or not uh, they are going to increase interest rates expectations are of course that they are and most um, expectation, most uh, analysts have basically pointed out that uh, a uh, 75 point basis point is going to be what the, the Fed decides. Last time was basically 100 basis points, but that is not expected now. 75 is basically expected, and of course that will be uh, very negative for indices, especially the tech sector. So uh, we may see this rally before. Um, before the announcement, which is at 2 p.m., I think it is. And then if it's 75 or even 100 uh, basis points, then this should be uh, f uh, fallen, but that is to be seen. Uh, the market can also have been um, adjusted to that rate height, and we have basically seen the drop already. So that is to be seen. But at the moment, we are basically going back and forward within this channel, and we are at the bottom and we have basically rallied at this point. 50 moving average is right underneath. So we may see this market uh, rally to the upside. That is a possibility. If we break the channel, then we have the 50 moving average. And if that breaks, then we may go back towards the lows here of roughly 11K. If you look at technical ind indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish. No, MACD is still bullish. Stochastic is bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. And there's a lot of room to the downside. We're at 50 two in the daily chart so there could be a long drop if we uh, basically uh, drop tomorrow to the upside if we break the upper channel then we have this area right around here which is roughly 13k we see that this was a previous lows and also the previous highs here so this should be an area of massive resistance if that breaks then we have the 200 moving average moving this direction which should offer massive resistance as we saw back in uh, beginning of april so let's look at the s p 500 and as you can see we have rallied we basically touched 4000 and then gave most of the, those gains back we basically gave all those gains back today we fell towards the 50 moving average and bounced so very similar here to um, what we are seeing in the nasdaq that we have a channel that is been fairly bullish we have been rallying and buying those dips as well and at this moment we are basically uh, we have basically bounced from the 50 moving average so we may see this market drop towards this channel and then continue up if we drop then we will most likely head back towards the lows of roughly uh, 3640 to the upside we have an area right around here which should offer massive resistance give or take here so roughly 4080 towards 4200 is where we have the lows and the previous highs as well 50 moving and the 200 moving average is moving in this direction and if we basically break above here then that will most likely come into play so a lot of resistance above but at this current stage we're still in this channel. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. If we look at the Dow Jones, very similar here, still in an upper channel, and at this current stage, we are just falling towards the bottom. The question is whether or not we bounce from here, and it will most likely have the same effect on the Dow Jones as it has on the S&P and the NASDAQ. 
if we drop below the 50 moving average then we may go and test the bottom yet again at 29.6k to the upside we have a area similar to the S&P 500 of give or take uh, 32.5 all the way up to 33.3. This is our previous lows here and previous highs that we be basically have to get through in order to get to the 200 moving average, which is trading at the 34K at this current stage. So we will most likely move in this direction. And if we were to rally above this area here, then we will most likely have to come to grips with the 200 moving average. And last time we saw, we tested the 200, it basically fell off a cliff. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bearish, and RSI is bearish as well. And still a lot of room to the downside. So European markets, the yeah, Nasdaq is really struggling at the 50 moving average. It fell today uh, at the end of the US session, 0.86%, and it was down roughly 1.2%. But at this point, it is looking fairly uh, negative for the DAX. We have rallied from the bottom up towards the 50 moving average and we have given basically just falling um, towards the 20 simple moving average. Breaking below here and then we may go back towards the lows of give or take 12.4%. Uh, Breaking above the 50 moving average opens the door to at this current stage the 200 moving average. We have a double top here but the 200 has basically surpassed that so we'll most likely go uh, and uh, test the 200 moving average which will most likely be at 14.4k uh, uh, if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is still bullish stochastic is bearish and rsi is bearish and with a lot of room to the downside so japanese nikkei very similar a setup here as we have seen at the last two times that we have tested the 200 moving average broken above shooting star broken above here drop all the way down to the wars uh, to, towards the bottom of the bullish band and yet again now we have broken below the 200 moving average so at this current stage we'll mostly have the lows of give or take 25 uh, 25.5 k uh, which is also near the lows of the bullish band. So we may see this market drop all the way down towards uh, this area. And it's just a continuation of what we have seen the last few, last few months. The highs, 200 moving average, the lows, give or take, 25.5K. Uh, this kind of an outlier as this was uh, back in April where the market just fell off cliff everywhere. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is uh, leveling off. Uh, stochastic is bearish the rsi is bearish as well there's a lot of room to the downside so let's look at the vix vix did rally uh, up towards the 20 simple moving average and then gave nearly all of the, its gains back but it's kind of building up as we saw in the past right here where we basically build a base also here when we basically build a base and now it kind of looks like we're building a base yet again so if the market doesn't like the, uh, what the Fed um, says tomorrow or the interest rate hikes and so on. And then we may see this market rally back towards the highest here, roughly 33 to 35, um, 35. 200 moving average has kind of been the bottom of this market and it has been trending upwards as volatility has been increasing in average and also the fear in the market. If you look at technical indicators, they are also giving the same um, indication. MACD is about to cross the signal line that is bullish for this market. Stochastic is bullish and RSI is bullish as well, with a lot of room to the upside. As this market rallies, then indices, stocks, they fall as fear grips the market. So let's look at the US 10 year. We did drop all the way down towards a 2.7 and then rallied ended up at uh, 0 0.660 um, and at this current stage it looks like we are about to turn around and head back towards the 20 simple moving average at 2.9 and, uh, and the 50 moving average and that would make sense considering the um, decision of the Fed tomorrow. If we look at technical indicators we can see the MACD is still bearish, stochastic is bullish and RSI is flat at this current stage. So 
Hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button, and see our newest videos. And good luck, and thank you very much.